good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel for those of you that don't know me my name is Emma it's really good to see you if this is your first time here then welcome if you have not seen my channel before then I am a 40 something size 14 16 midwife who just comes on here for a bit of a laugh we try a few clothes on we smush a bit of makeup into my face and we generally have a bit of a giggle. So if that is something that sounds like it would interest you, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stick around. But obviously, if you think, oh, that sounds like a tribe, then just move on. Um, so I am back with a charity shop haul. It is only really, really dirty. And the reason it's small is because I want to focus on something today as part of this haul. Um, and I want to focus on body confidence. Now, those of you that know me will know that I have been on and off diets for my entire adult life. And I joined Slimming World at the beginning of this year, which failed miserably. I was very unhappy. And it's been a bit of a journey. It's been a journey um, emotionally, psychologically, and for the elastic on my waistband <laughs> but I just we're going into the summer at what well, we're supposed to be in the summer in the UK I mean it's absolutely it's grey and it's raining and it's the middle of June no it's God it's the middle of July <laughs> just lost a month um I start Christmas shopping um yeah so I just wanted to kind of have a little bit of a chat really um because it's, it's, when we come into the summer, it's always very difficult, you know, we're going on some holidays and this is, there's the expectation that when we go on our summer holidays, we're going to be at our best. We're going to be the slimmest we've been, we're going to be the fittest we've been, we're just going to have this perfect figure and because we've got this perfect figure, it's going to then give us this perfect life. <laughs> and I don't deny that when I am slimmer and when I am fitter, I feel really really good however it comes at a cost and that cost was too much for me earlier on this year I was losing out on things doing things with my friends I was missing out on family things I was my attitude towards food was becoming a little bit weird and a little bit scary and that's the attitude that obviously my children are seeing and I don't think it's very good for your children to constantly see you talking about your weight and talking about how unhappy you are with your weight. And I was noticing little things that my daughter was saying, who's only eight, an exceptionally influential age. So um, something had to give. So I decided in March of this year that I would endeavour to not really give a shit about my weight, which is easier said than done. Now I know that since I stopped Slimming World in March, we're now July, I have put probably a stone in weight back on. The difference this time is that I'm not unhappy about the weight that I've put back on and I'm not constantly thinking about it, I'm not constantly moaning about it. I know there is a way to lose weight. I've done Slimming Wheel before, it worked. I've ran before, it worked. The combination of the two, it worked. I am exercising still. I still run on occasion, mainly after the ice cream van. <laughs> but, um, I'm joking. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> but it's, it's getting the balance right and I it's it's been very difficult and it's it has been a bit of a, it has been a proper journey but having this channel and listening to other people's stories and other people's comments and and seeing yourself almost through other people's eyes has made it a lot easier this time for me to kind of be more accepting of me and of the weight that I am and I'm always I think going to be this weight. So the first thing I wanted to do before I move on to the charity shop haul, I want to do something which is it's quite depressing really, but I want I don't want it to be this. Um, let me just pop that down there, see if it'll reach it. Well, 
So, like I say, everybody knows, if you've watched my channel from the beginning, that I had this elusive freaking pair of white shorts. These white shorts were the shorts that I bought when I was in New York on my honeymoon almost 20 years ago. Well, everybody's going to be slimmer for their wedding. Plus, I was 24 and not 44. So, these shorts saw me through my entire honeymoon and I've worn them on countless holidays since. However, I can't fit in them now. There are times when I try and I, I, I mean, I, I can zip, I can button them and I can zip them because I tried yesterday, but they look horrific. They're too short, so I wouldn't wear them anyway, even if I fit into them, because they're too short. So these are the shorts, and I know they look massive on camera, and they're not. They're a size 12. They're Calvin Klein. They are lovely, lovely shorts. But these are my denim shorts that I wear around. Them. Sort of, these are my holiday shorts that I wear and I feel really, really comfortable in. And they're a nice length. They're not dead short. They're not dead long, but I feel really comfortable in them. And my problem is that because these shorts, they sit in my drawer and they taunt me. And they say things like, how come you don't fit in me anymore, you fat biatch? And you said you'd slim into me and you haven't. And I got them out last night and I put them up against the shorts that I'm wearing now. Not now, look bit and look at that difference. So there's about an inch difference there. And I just thought the, the reason I constantly feel like a bit of a failure is because I hang on to these and I hang on to them because they're that one item of clothing that I keep thinking, yeah, I'll get back into them, I'll get back into them. And then I don't get back into them and I feel like a big fat lardy arsed failure. And I tried them on last night and honest to God, it was like, it, it was like somebody had wrapped a bandage around some sausages. It, it was horrific. And I tried them and I just thought, they are not doing me any favors. They are making me feel completely and utterly depressed. Then I tried these on and I put them on and I put them on with a little sun top, a little baggy sun top and I felt lovely in them. And I think we need to get out of the habit of having portions of our wardrobes that we are trying to slim back into because they sit there and they taunt us and they make fun of us and they make us feel like failures and we're not failures you know we're amazing strong people who just enjoy eating cake and i just think that for me i just need to thwack them in a chaser bag and say bon voyage and go to some other size 12 girl with longer legs and thinner thighs than I, who will take you on journeys I can never take you on because for 10 years you've sat in the drawer in my bed and you deserve more and thank you for all the good times but there comes a point where we have to say goodbye and I think that's what I need to do. So I am going to get rid of these and I never thought I would say that because the they're the one kind of thing that I still got from my honeymoon. And you know, maybe I keep saying, oh, maybe I won't throw them away. Maybe I'll just put them in the loft. But then they're still there and they're still taunting me and they're still going to come sort of creeping into my subconscious of a night and go, oh, those shorts are still in the loft. I wonder if you can get in them. And I know I won't be able to. So, you know, goodbye, my friend, to coin the Spice Girls. Um, <laughs> and hello. Big chunky denim shorts that fit my size 16 ass so that was just something that i wanted to say because that is something that for probably 10 years now they have been my um 
Achilles heel, shall we say. Is that a, yeah, is that, a weak, is that a weakness? Are they my weakness? They're not my weakness, are they? They're their point. I think your Achilles heel is like, because oh, I hate this. I say things and I want to sound clever. And then I'm like, well, actually, I don't know what that means. <laughs> And there'll be somebody who'll have studied like Greek mythology who'll go, oh, I know it's exactly what an Achilles heel is and they'll put it in the comments and make me feel like completely stupid. <laughs> but anyway, I think that the thing that's made me more depressed than I needed to really be and I want to rid myself of this ridiculous amount of negativity. So they're going and that is it. So that was just a little something that I wanted to say to you all. So I, I'm not sure if I'm going to add on the charity shop haul now or whether I'll just do a completely different video. But yeah, I just want to say, just get rid, get rid of all this, this shit in your wardrobe that doesn't, that just doesn't fit you because it's really not worth it. So yeah, I think I am going to do the charity shop haul now. I don't know, I might just stop the video, it might just be crap. If you are still with me, thank you. Um, <laughs> we come on quite a journey, don't we, during my videos, it has to be said. Uh, <laughs> so I am going to do the charity shop haul. The reason I wanted to talk about what I've just spoken about before this charity shop haul was because I bought, bought two different dresses. But I bought a dress that when I put it on in the changing room, I was a bit like, oh, well, that shows my bottom and my belly. But then actually, I have found a few ways to wear it that I bloody love. And everybody needs to go out and buy one of these dresses. So um, that's it, really. So there will be a bit of a try on at the end of this. It's probably going to be a very lengthy video. Grab a cuppa, get some chocolate chip cookies, crack open the Victoria sponge and let's have a haul. So firstly is, oh, was that really depressing that first bit? I didn't mean it to be, I really didn't mean it to be and I'm sorry if it was and I feel that I do harp on quite a lot about weight on this channel but I think it's something that we need to address and I think like I've said to you before I think that size 14 size 16 women aren't very well represented here on YouTube so I'm doing it for us, I'm doing it for the girls. And I just want to show you, there's little tiny things that, like the bloody shorts, that can actually have quite a big impact on you mentally that you don't even realise. And because I know that those shorts are there every freaking day, you know, when I was actually doing Slimming World, I tried those shorts on every day for four months. And that is, you know, how how is that even? like good it's almost like that was my equivalent of standing on the scales every day because we don't have scales or we don't have scales at work um well we do have scales and they do work but if you kick them around different parts of the kitchen you can be about half a stone lighter so i tend to go up by the sink because that's where i'm at my ultimate lightest <laughs> down by the table not so good um <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking so yeah so it's just they they were my I will be able to tell if I've lost or put on this week because they'll fit me or they won't fit me. And it became a bit of an obsession. So I'm going to I'm gonna get rid of them. And it just feels so good to say it. So, yeah. So I was in a charity shop a couple of days ago and everything was half price. And um, so I ended up, one of the first things that I'm going to show you is this t-shirt, which is a Converse. All Stars t-shirt is actually for my son. It's a size large. He loves anything. He, he wears Converse all the time, as do we all in this family. Um, apart from my husband, he's a bit of a crock wearer, really. <laughs> he hasn't quite come into 2019. He's still in 2005, my husband. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, there's the... And it's just, it says the Chuck Taylor thing there, Converse. That was... He's taken the label off because I think he's actually worn it. I think it was four ninety nine. No, it was five ninety nine. I got it for three pound. So, and then it's just got all stars and that whatever that says on the back. Oh, I don't even know what it says. Some numbers. I've got hair. 
<laughs> anyway, so yeah, so he was absolutely made up with that. And then I bought from the same shop. I'm so sorry. I've got a something, you know, when you can just feel it. Bought from the same shop, a little swimming costume for my daughter. Um, and it's just oh, like that, but it's actually like a little dress. It's got the swimming costume part underneath. And then it's got, it's like, so it looks like she's just wearing a little dress. So, and then it's got a crossover at the back. It's really difficult to show a crossover thing on, on camera <laughs> to hold it up. Crossovers at the back. I have no idea where it's originally from because there's no, I, I can't really see any labels in it at all. I would imagine it was somewhere like Asda or somewhere like that. Who knows? And there's nothing in it at all. Um, and I paid pound fifty for that. That should have been £2.99 and we got that for pound fifty. And she tried it on the other night. She's a bit strange, my daughter. If you buy her something new, she immediately puts it on and then spends the rest of the night in it, no matter what it is. So when she had a new swimming cap, she spent the whole night just in her swimming cap. Obviously dressed with her swimming cap on. And, um, and she did the same with this. So she just sat, she had to tea, she did everything, just wandering around the house, nonchalantly in a swimming costume. <laughs> um, then I bought, you know my love for bags. Um, I bought this, which is a Kath Kitston messenger bag. This, unfortunately, was not from the half price shop. This was from the full price shop. And I paid £7.99 for that. It's the Kath Kitston messenger bag. Now, I've had a really good look through it. And I can't, I love the lining. Look at that, it's beautiful. A ridge, Kath Kitston. And you know when you go up the corners in a bag and you can really see sort of, wear and tear and it's absolutely nothing i own this bag in a different pattern and um, i've got it in i can't think what the name of it is is it ditzy rose or something it's white with pale sort of pinky greeny flowers all over it very ditzy very girly very very summery because it's white you have to clean it all the time um, and I just thought that that i do love a bit of khaki and i thought that would be a really good thing and I like bags like this when you run holiday at night and you go out you know when you go out and everybody's got their sunglasses on and then it gets a bit the sun goes down and everybody just hands you their sunglasses because you're this magic person with a magic bag that can fit all things in and they'll say mum have you got have you got a drink mum and you know you pull a magic drink out of your magic bag along with a standard lamp because you are Mary Poppins when you go on holiday aren't you with your with your big bag so I just think a, a big bang on holiday, people will be giving you their jumpers and all kinds. It ends up like standing this far away from you because it's got 17 jumpers in, five pairs of sunglasses and, you know, what else? Cider, a barbecue, who knows? <laughs> so yeah, so I just thought that that was truly a bargain. And I was dead embarrassed actually because I'd got a Kath Kitston bag. You remember on a haul... A while ago I bought a, um, a Kath Kitson bag that's got strawberries on it and I got that with me. So the woman was like, mm, you know, you like your Kath, don't you? And I was like, yes I do, thank you very much. So, um, but yeah, absolutely love that. And then I bought this, which is, these are the dresses that I bought. Now, as you can see, love stripes, love blue, love spots, love blue and white together. So... This dress was from the Half Price Shop. So this was originally £4.99 and I got it for £2.50. See how quick my maths was then. <laughs> and this is by a company. It still has the tags on. It's one size and it's by, if you can see that, it's by the Weld. Oh, I'm making a pig's ear of this. Oh, jeez. Jay's Louise, <laughs> the Well Done Boutique. And the Well Done Boutique, when I've actually had a route further through the dress, and it's still got like, I don't know whatever was in there, because there's no buttons or anything attached to the dress. So I have no clue what could ever have been in there. It is Well Done, and it's by the Rare Market Company. I don't know whether that'll come into focus or not. Anyway. Now, when I, I'm going to, it's a very, very difficult dress to show you without actually showing it you on. 
it basically looks like a big skirt so it's elasticated and then it has that and basically I think you're supposed to wear it like that and then that goes over one shoulder there is an absolute stack of material to this dress and it feels absolutely beautiful but when I tried it on I wasn't quite sure what I was supposed to do with it and I didn't know if it was like supposed to be like a cape like a poncho type thing over my shoulders whether I had to have it under my shoulders and my armpits I was really unsure so I googled the dress I saw it I tried it on hadn't really got a clue what to do with it but really really liked it and just thought this dress is £2.50 and then I thought oh but I, don't, I really don't oh I'm not really sure went away and googled the company and this model popped up wearing the dress how it's supposed to be worn which is how I thought which is kind of under your armpits with that strap going over your one shoulder although the strap that goes over does actually split into two so you could wear it like that and the the model <laughs> I sent the photograph to my mum I said I've just bought this dress look at this model she looks like she's well she's like got really really short hair. has she got short hair or is it tied back really quite big ears she's really deathly thin looks like she needs to go to a carvery um, <laughs> and she's wearing this dress you still can't really tell what you're supposed to do with it because she's got this really oversized stonewashed denim jacket on with it and she's like standing like that like she's on drugs and then she's wearing it with like mid calf length white um cowboy boots which you know if they're your bag then that's fine but they're definitely not mine so i wasn't really any the wiser as to how i was supposed to wear this dress however this dress is sold out. It's still on their website, but it's sold out. And when I went into it, it showed me how much this dress had been. And when I, because it was in dollars, so I converted the dollars <laughs> to um, pounds, bones, as we say in Stoke, converted it to pounds, and it was the grand total of, are you ready for this? four hundred and ten pounds it was about five hundred and thirty dollars something like that really and it is gorgeous but if you told me it was 13 pounds from Primark I'd go oh yeah fair play <laughs> so but I've had a proper play with it and I found a couple of ways to wear it which I think if anybody has got anything very similar, I think you could even do it with a big oversized, like a gypsy skirt. So bear with me while we style that one. And then the other one, which is the one I'm most excited about is this, which is the one thing I was like, well, I really like it, but I don't think I'd ever wear anything like that. So it's basically a round necked, sleeveless, to the knee, Zara dress it goes it's got a little bit of a drop hem fitted size 14 that was for mind charity and that was six pound and I tried it on and this is that one dress that I tried on and I was like now I love it but does it love me and am I going to look like I am squashed into something that I quite clearly should not have been squashed into so I want to show you a few ways that I am going to style this. And I'm not saying that it can't be worn exactly as it is on its own. And the more I am doing this channel and the more kind of experimental I'm getting with my clothes, I think that actually it, it really doesn't matter. And you know what? No one's looking at you. Um, so I'm going to try I'll style these two dresses and then um, we'll have a bit of a play and see just a few ways that we can wear them I'm off to Cornwall in about four or five weeks I think in the middle of the summer holidays and this is good, just going to be 
something that I am going to wear and wear and wear. I'm not sure if I will take that with me. I think it may be a little bit too dressy. If I'd have had this for the wedding a few weeks ago, that might have bloody helped. <laughs> Instead of the trauma that I had. Um, anyway, so yeah, I will um, endeavour to try these on and see you in a minute. And just to say that the first bit of the video that I did about the shorts, I stopped it and I watched it back just to make sure that it was all right. Watched it back, eating a cookie. <laughs> so I can't really care that much, can I? So um, I will see you all of a sudden. First of all, I just wanted to show you the dress that I'm actually wearing today because I know a few people will probably ask. This is the dress. <laughs> Ta -da! And scene. <laughs> so this is the dress from my charity shop haul a couple of weeks ago. It's a little sleeveless dress. It's got slits up the side. I have no idea where it's from. Um, just wearing it with a little white stuff cardigan that I really like and I just it's got all different buttons which I really like and then my beads which I bought in a charity shop haul a couple of weeks ago and just picking up the colours because it's got the blue of the dress and the pink of the cardigan and I just think that's a really nice way to wear it um, so yeah so I just thought I'd show you that before I got changed <laughs> This is that dress that I was talking about, 410 pounds or some such ridiculous amount for a dress. I didn't, I didn't pay that for my wedding dress. Um, so, but look, I mean, look, the amount of material in it. I mean, it is just, it, I'm, I just, I do absolutely love it. The only, th I mean, I do, I like things like this. I don't know whether I maybe feel a little bit showy whether I just need something a little bit more over my shoulders but this is how they go in the the you know the, the one who's like standing like that this, this is how she's wearing it but she's got a denim jacket on with it I'll go back a little bit further and show you so it's quite sort of handkerchief hem at the bottom now it's got two ties oh I, I tell you it has there. It's got two ties there and two ties there, which in the picture just look like they're hanging down. But, I mean, I was thinking, you know, you could probably, I'm sure there would be a way, if I took that that way and that that way, that you could tie it around the middle or sort of bring it up under the bust so that it's a bit more, Jesus Christ, no, I've never had <laughs> a very good day. Um, like that, I thought would probably be a little bit more wearable, like that. Um, so that was one way that I was thinking about wearing it. And then the other way, if you see what I mean, this has got, it's a double strap there. So I was thinking, you could even wear this over a swimming costume on holiday. It's like that at the back. So I thought because of those, it almost looks like you've got a swimming costume on anyway. I'm sorry if I look really bright. The, it's just the window where I film and it's really bright. Now, there's lots of gathers and things in it. I initially thought that these were something, that they were a, a pocket or what, but you can put your fingers through. It's all very, very strange, this design of this dress. But I don't dislike it. However, there was also another way that I thought about wearing it. And it was like this. <laughs> Bear with. <laughs> um, now, it was wearing it something a little bit more like that. Obviously, because, you know, there's my knickers. <laughs> It needs to have something on underneath it. So we could potentially put a pair of leggings on and a, a navy, some sort of bandeau top underneath and wear it like that, which is lovely if your arms are up, but if your arms go down, well, what does that look like? So then I thought about adding in a belt. So just bear with me. 
So I have got this belt, which I bought a couple of weeks ago to zhuzh up my wedding outfit that I didn't end up wearing and it was all a big complete nightmare. So it's just a gold stretchy belt. This was a pound. And what I was thinking was, because I feel like I need to give this a little bit more shape, I am going to thread the belt actually on my back. It's probably going to be freezing. Oh no, it's not too bad because it's not metal that side. And then what I'm going to do is just bring it through there and out at the front. And then, you probably, I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing, I'm just tucking, you see my bloody knickers. My husband said to me the other day, why are your knickers grey? <laughs> they do start off white. <laughs> I'm just not very good at washing the washing stuff. So everything just ends up a bit grey. All my underwear just goes the same colour. So I was thinking, we could just sort of, because there's so much material, you can just almost like wrap the dress so that actually you can't really see anything. And then if you do that, then I just thought, do you know what? Well, this bench, oh my God, it's gonna go. I just thought, I actually really, really like that. I know it is absolutely not the way it was supposed to be worn, but why the hell not? And I was thinking that you could do this with any sort of giant elasticated skirt. You could pull it up to your shoulders if it'll stretch that much, which I'm sure it will. If you'll come over your hips, it'll stretch over your shoulders and pop a little belt round. And if there's enough material, so this dress, is it's kind of, I don't know how I'm going to show my arse off here. But do you know what I mean? It's sort of gone over so that actually if the wind blew, it wouldn't be that bad. And I just think that is actually a really sort of cool way of wearing the dress. And I know that if I saw somebody in this dress, I would straight away go up to her and say, oh my God, I love your dress, where's it from? And she'd go, it was... £410. <laughs> but how I just, who doesn't love them sleeves? Who doesn't want to feel like Wonder Woman in a cape? <laughs> I just absolutely love it. And I don't, because of that, I don't, obviously if that wasn't there and I'm a skirt, that wouldn't be there. So just sort of simple necklace, some gold shoes, and then I'll just grab my handbag. Um, so I've got this bag, which I had for my sister-in-law's Henry Kend, which I don't even know how long they've been married, some like five years, something like that. But it's one of those that's like a petrol-y one. You know how petrol goes all different colours, like rainbow. So it's kind of, it can be gold, it can be silver. It was only cheapy cheap. I think I had it from, well, it says select inside. So I don't know whether, I think it's like a cheap shop, but it's honestly been the most used of all my bags. So I don't mind that I'm using gold and I think, you know, do you know, I feel like some professor out of um, Harry Potter. <laughs> I feel like we should be doing potions, apologies and all that. <laughs> Apology potions. <laughs> oh my God, I just absolutely, Honestly, I can't tell you how much I love it. And I just think, go upstairs, grab your wildest, floatiest skirt and just do something different with it. Because that, to me, I mean, I would pop my little sandals on with that and, you know, a day bag, a day bag, <laughs> and maybe not a gold belt, maybe a brown belt. And I would, you know, brown, um, sandals like slidery sandals and a brown belt I own neither of those things <laughs> but if I did I could totally go shopping in that couldn't I and oh <laughs> you may not share my joy for this outfit but oh my god I absolutely love it and I have spent ooh, eight minutes talking about it <laughs> so I'm going to try the other dress on now um, and just show you how I have styled that up as well. So yeah, 
But, like I say, you could always keep it like this and just whack some navy leggings on with it and converse and you'd be good to go like that as well. So the only thing is that if you put your hands down, they disappear, unless you cut slits. <laughs> but, oh my God, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> So this is the dress. So this is Zara originally. I paid six pounds for it. Um, it's got a little bit of a drop hem there, like I said. Just got it on with Converse. And like this, I'm probably not the most confident I've ever felt. Turn to the side. Got a little bit of bummage, a little bit of belly on show. Not too bad, and it's not the end of the world. If I had to go out like this, I would, I would, you know, it's not too bad, but I'm just a bit conscious of things. Um, I am wearing, <laughs> because secretly I am a 95 year old woman, and I love, love a nylon slip. <laughs> and I just feel better when, I just feel that the lines look nicer underneath. This is just a waist high one. <laughs> Do you have a full length one and a waist high one? Um, stick me in a corner with a port and lemon and with my nylon slip, <laughs> quite happy. Um, so yeah, so that's just the dress as it is. So like I say, round necked, stripey, that sort of Breton stripe that's all over the place in the summer. So what I want to do is just to, sh I've got a few things on my bed, well a few, it looks like a jumble sale, just to show you that just because you've got something like this and you're not quite sure about how to wear it, just a few different ideas. And the first thing I wanted to show you was oh, um, this, which was the t-shirt that I bought a few weeks ago in a charity shop haul. Again, this is a Zara t-shirt, so I've got Zara dress, Zara t-shirt. And... Um, this smells like the last time I wore it. My aromatics by Clinique. I love that perfume. And I just, how much, how lovely does that look? And then I've got a bag, Kath Gitston bag. This was a present of one of my lovely friends and for my 40th birthday. And it's because it's got a bit of blue, a bit of yellow, a bit of everything in it. It's just one of those that we can throw on. And crossbody bag, brilliant, but if you don't feel that confident about your tummy, and for me, that would, I would feel far better like that because I'm covering that, that tummy part, which is my sort of, the area I think everybody is staring at whenever I leave the house, and I'm sure they're not. You know, who'd stare at that when you've got this? <laughs> joking um, <laughs> so and then because I'm going on holiday in Cornwall and we all bloody know what the UK weather is like I've got a raincoat and this is I paid full price for this this is from Cuba which is a cool De Devon Devon company oh. and just wanted to sort of see what it would look like with my raincoat and I just think that's quite cool you know it isn't every day that we can go out and it's blistering sunshine like I say we live in the bloody UK we know that the weather is totally unpredictable my washing's been in and out more times over the last few weeks than I don't know what so but again it's just it's picking up the colours it's staying nautical um, and I just think that looks really nice and I think it makes it look like more of a skirt obviously because you've got the t-shirt on um, but yeah I just think that's a really nice way to wear it I've got a scarf here which is from light stuff which has just kind of got mustards and blues in it it's got pom-poms all around the edges I can't even tell you how many pom-poms have pommed off um, over the, the months since I've had it um, but you could just pop a little scarf around you. Again, a scarf is a really good way, if you haven't got a bag that covers up, a scarf is just a really good way of disguising, of breaking everything up. So popping a little scarf on with it all, 
would just make a difference. Plus as well, you know, it's night time, we're going out. We don't want to feel like we're completely exposed. Just throwing on a denim jacket with that. And that's just another nice little look. And again, with the denim jacket coming where it comes, I have been hankering after a more cropped denim jacket and I was even thinking of cutting this one off, but actually seeing it with this dress, it needs that length because it's sort of, if I was here, I didn't think I'd like that, but there, it gives me that little bit more confidence, I think, that I would probably be happy not even to wear that, if you know what I mean. So, so that's that. And then another, I'm going to take that off. My husband, when I film these videos, he comes in, he's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, love, shut up. Um, so another, oh, another thing, if you've got an, a dress like this that you're not quite confident about, is popping a shirt over the top. It doesn't have to be a denim shirt. It's just that this is the only sort of plain shirt that I own really and doing that and then I'm just going to grab my my bigger bag and sort of pop that over there and I think that looks really really nice I, I think that looks lovely you could even if you wanted to you could even do a bit of a tie if you were sort of feeling like you weren't bothered about really showing off your, your bottom half you know you could tie that and just I think that looks quite cool um honestly there's just so much so much you all need one of these dresses in your lives and then I have this jumper which I bought from a charity shop now I bloody love yellow and someone somewhere told me that Gemini's suit yellow or something like that so I'm going to go with it. This is a jumper that it's really really chunky and needs no sort of coat over the top of it. It's got a piece of ribbon, you know one of those pieces of ribbon that every time you go to try it on you say um, yeah I'll cut that out and then you never do and it's four years on and you still haven't cut it out. So I'm just it's quite difficult to hang on a minute. Oh, right so, I just love that combination and because it's got little splits up the back and it's a little bit longer at the back and the splits there and the splits there, I think it just works. And then if I was to use, again, use my bag because it's got the yellow in, it's got the blue in, if I was just going for a bit of a, a wander, um, along the seafront, knew it was going to be a bit chilly and just pop a jumper on but then, you know, if the sun comes out and it's glorious you could take your jumper off and pop it around your waist even you know, we don't have to all wear them around our shoulders like posh boys um, but yeah, but I just think, again, I just think that looks really, really nice and like I keep saying to you, if you take nothing away from these videos take this away, go and buy a pair of Converse <laughs> You will not regret it, I promise you. Um, so, and then, yeah, so I think that's, God, I'm out of breath. This is, you see, this is why I don't need to go to the gym, because it's like a workout. Ugh. So, say for example, the weather has changed, I'm absolutely roasting, I'm miles away from where I'm staying, so I'm just gonna shove that around my middle and again that's another way of wearing something that you know if you're not entirely confident with your tummy and believe me if I come across as entirely confident then I'm doing a bloody good job because I am not and I am the first person to kind of hone in on it whenever I look in a mirror or whenever I look at a photograph but again that's another really good way of wearing it which actually doesn't look like you know if you're wearing it like that I mean, actually, you know what? Even that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> but, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I just think it's a good way of wearing stuff that, you know, just look a bit more cool and a bit more casual. And then for 
for example, if we were going out for lunch with the girls, this is my Jules blazer, bought in a charity shop last year for £6. Absolutely bloody love it. And I even think we could wear that. We've got, I love mustard and navy and white. I think it's super, super cool. Um, and I could pop that bag over and it's got a bit of all the colours in. Just absolutely, absolutely love it. And there was another way, which don't be afraid of wearing stripes with stripes. And this is what I mean. So this is from a charity shop. Again, this is Jules. Because in the summer, I'm either in stripes from Jules or, well, Chaz are Jules, or I'm in linen. I'm, I'm, I've told you, I've, I've spoken about this before. Um, so, and even wearing, you know, Let's try that because it's got the same colour in to break it up a little bit. I think sometimes even wearing stripes with stripes can work. And I don't think, I, I did try this with a different stripy top and it just, it didn't look right. But I think if it's a completely contrasting colour, I think probably it can look right. And I think, again, this is another brilliant way of just just mashing up your wardrobe and shopping your own on stock. <laughs> oh God, I'm so hot. Um, yeah, shopping your own wardrobe and just having fun with it really. Um, I've got a scarf here, which is lovely, which I had bought for me for my birthday last year, that I love, which has got a little bit of sort of silver beading on the bottom. I think that looks really, really nice with it. You could almost wear it as a sort of, because it's got the beads there, you could almost wear it as a bit of a necklace. Um, oh, there's just, honestly, just so many ways. You don't even have to tie it, and you can just keep them like that. You don't always have to feel that you have to tie a scarf. Um, so I think, looking at my bed, <laughs> oh my lordy. I'll go back to my a ridge, I'll pop this back on just to finish. But yeah, if so if you see a dress and it's like this and you think, well, I could never wear that because I'm not skinny enough, I'm not, I'm not a size whatever, you know, and my stomach isn't flat, so well neither is mine. But I'm gonna bloody rock this outfit the next time I go out. And I absolutely love it, and yeah, my chocolate chip cookie is sitting about there, my sourdough toast is about here, um, and you know, <laughs> who cares, and who's really looking? So, this is me signing off for now, oh yeah, I'm so happy with these buys, and this dress was £6, and I just feel like it's gonna be a massive, massive part of my summer wardrobe. And I think that I just, I just don't think I'm gonna to have to sort of take too much on holiday. I am going to do a capsule wardrobe. I'm going to, I always try and take a capsule wardrobe when I go on holiday, just because the storage space in the apartment that we're in is quite limited. So um, obviously this will, weigh quite heavily <laughs> in that video but as well I'm just going to kind of do videos that can wear like not videos outfits that can take from day to night ways to accessorize looks for the beach just all kinds of different things really um so yeah so that's me done I am sorry this has been one hell of a ramble and I know it's it's um I'm so grateful I'm so grateful that you allow me this um platform really to to just ramble and chat and talk and fall off stools and you know chat shit. So if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to give it a really big thumbs up. Well you can't give it a really big thumbs up, you can just give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you have not yet subscribed then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will catch you all really really soon in my next video or whatever that may be. So thank you so much for watching and take lots of care.